Question 1. What is the purpose of AutoCAD software? Answer. AutoCAD software provides the design and the shape for the products that needs to be created. It provides flexible and user-friendly features with the tools to design the applications and document the workflows. This involves aggregate and import models for the formats and usually allows the design to get created without any change in source model. It provides tools to provide the formats by detailed designing the layouts and drawings using the views automatically. It also has the provision to create detailed design layouts and views can be drawn automatically using the source model. Question 2. What are the uses of AutoCAD? Answer. AutoCAD software is used to draw and design the documents and the applications with easy customization options. AutoCAD provides a platform to be used by professionals to create the designs and 3D models. It allows the creation of the professional technical drawings and conceptual designs used for representation of the logics. It allows the drafter to provide the finishing touches and designing with the detailing and linking to the online data. It provides suppliers or operational professionals to review the drawings and modify it according to the requirements. Question 3. What is the main purpose of AutoCAD? Answer. AutoCAD is used to create the computer-aided designs or software applications including drafting. AutoCAD develops the application in both the 2D and 3D formats and provide the information to the application. AutoCAD provides tools to design the softwares used in the industry, architects and project management. It provides an easy way to design the software with the designs and architect it according to the need. Question 6. What is the use of variants in AutoCAD? Answer. AutoCAD uses lots of variants including the releases that provide capabilities to build an application. The 3D capability that is being provided by the AutoCAD gives fewer rises to the releases of the applications. Variants are used to increase the variations present in the application or the package used in particular program. AutoCAD provides variants that help in creation, visualization and rendering of the 3D models that provide the 3D printing as well. Variants provide a way to use different functionalities of the function in the application and execute it according to the needs.
Question 10. What is the procedure to create user interface? Answer. The user interface can be created by using the command prompts to draw the plots and dialog boxes. The displaying of the dialog boxes can be seen by the use of plot command and the external database. ASE commands. Setting of PNDR to 1 takes place that enables the dialog boxes to run the command and enter the spaces of use. The user interface creation also requires the command line to display the entire file so that it can be easily customized or edited. Question 12. What is the procedure to remove the empty layers? Answer. The empty layers can be removed from the drawing by using the all objects residing at one's place. The references of the layers are also removed so that it appears to be empty and can easily be created. If the layer is empty then the perch will not be able to remove the layers from the drawing. The layer can be made frozen on the viewport that is visible to the object and provide the definition of the object too. The removing of the layer is possible due to the drawing that can be made using the export command and the result can be created in the DXF file. Question 14. What are the features being corrected by AutoCAD? Answer. AutoCAD identifies the problem and correct it by removing the corruption with the drawing parts. It involves adding of the vertices to the polylines with a provision to add additional vertices. The polyline provides only the provision of using one vertex and the vertex can be added on run. The corruption can be neglected or corrected by finding out the exact location of the polyline that has zero vertices. The objects can be deleted after there is no use of it or can be removed if there is no use of them in the system. Question 15. What are the steps to enable the drag on drop feature in AutoCAD? Answer. AutoCAD provides a way to drag and drop the elements by the use of noun and verb that allows the object to move from one place to another. AutoCAD provides an option to rotate or erase the selected object and allows the action to be taken on the application. The editing functions like move and erase can be used to provide the erasing of the objects and noun slash verb. Open the system option dialog box and choose from the noun slash verb and turn it on from the menu bar. The selection tab can be selected by using the noun slash verb selection of the options with the mouse clicks and opening of the menus. <laughs> 